What's up everybody and welcome back. Today for our new bro help, we're talking about the German tree and specifically around battle rating 2.3. So this is where you've kind of stepped into the game, you've gotten a bunch of stuff researched in this rank one area and you still have a lot more to go. To boot, if you haven't even gotten into the aircraft, there's a ton of aircraft to go. I'm sticking with the five vehicle lineup because that's the most you can get without actually having to spend golden eagles because, you know, people aren't sure if they really want to put any money into this game yet. So starting out, we're going to talk about the PZ-4F1. It is a good, solid tank. It has a high explosive anti-tank shell at a hundred millimeters a pin which is pretty good now in my eyes it is a little bit of a slow round but for this battle rating it is kind of standard so take it for what it is it takes a little bit to kind of learn how to aim with that shell armor as a whole the tank is okay but everything at these lower brs is kind of squishy everything is pretty good at killing everything else unless you're some crazy french heavy or something else but you know, the biggest problem with the German tanks is they don't have any guns on top of their tank or on the turret so they can shoot at the enemy. So that's something you need to kind of remember if you're used to playing the US or some of the other nations, they have a gun up there, you can shoot at aircraft. Now, getting to that, we have the Flak Panzer 38. This thing was a monster and it was at battle rating 1.7. It had the PZGR40, which had like 62 millimeters a pin. They dropped it down to 48 millimeters a pin, which is still like shooting lightsabers at the enemy. Not to mention, it's an anti-aircraft gun. So you're good at shooting down aircraft and this thing just annihilates tanks, especially the American ones. Now the Russian stuff is going to be a little bit harder, but pick and choose your battles. You throw a couple backups on this, you bring it twice in a game, and I think you're going to be quite happy. Moving from there, there is the Martyr 3. It is a solid-ish tank destroyer or SPG, 138 millimeters of pin. You know, you don't have a turret, so you kind of have to be careful with how you operate and the open top part of it makes it harder as well i personally would choose to bring the flak panzer one rather than that if you're really wanting to you know focus on researching and getting kills and doing stuff pretty fast that's how i would go but that's me from that we have the he 112a1 this thing is pretty much an a10 in the sky it has a 20 millimeter gun that just rips things apart 37 millimeters a pin when you're shooting it from the top down and you will just wreck the enemy tanks and it can do a good number on other aircraft now if you're needing some dog fighting capability you're definitely going to want to bring the bf 109e1 this thing has a ton of ammo 3000 rounds they are the seven millimeters but they can get the job done it also has a 250 kilogram bomb which when placed properly can make sure that the enemy is sent back to the hangar all in all i feel like this is a good lineup for new bros and trying to start out the game and will treat you pretty well if you can expand from there there's a whole plethora of options in the 2.3 1.7 there's a lot of things over here that are great if you're trying to get into the game and kind of maximize your research potential with that i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it helps you out if you want to see another nation let me know in the comments if there's any vehicle specifically you want to see. Make sure you comment that in the uh, comments and we'll see about getting a video highlighting it and getting it done.